Hello, everybody. Oh. How's everybody doing today? Hello, Genki. Hello, Hermes. Hello, Yuki. Lightbringer. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome in. It's the middle of the school day, but it's fine. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. That's, you know, it's whatever. Yeah, I have stuff to do here in a couple of hours. It's not like... I'm not super pressed for time, but I can't, <laughs> I can't dilly dally. I feel like we've got, I'm, I'm, I'm on a time limit for the first time in the, in a while. So yeah, I decided to pull our, our, our like, you know, just too cool. I am so excited to see what's up with her. Uh, yeah. Oh, but yeah, like it's. It's technically in the middle of a school day for me as well. Um, I mean, my, my last class was at noon. It was a couple hours ago, but you know, it's it's still technically a school day for me. Like, you're welcome. Is mommy named Father? Is Arlequino a, a non-binary <laughs> and Bilf? And I, I, I want to know how to pronounce that because, yeah, she is. She is so gender. <laughs> she is so incredibly gender. I have not seen it. I have not seen it. Um, that's what we're doing today. Is we're, is we're watching this. This is this is what we're doing. This is gonna be the stream. It's gonna be me watching and reacting to the the program. I hate her, but you're streaming, so I'm watching. How dare you? How dare you say you hate father? Come on. That's that's rude. Sorry. Excuse me. Ooh. Um, I still have I still have a cough, so that's uh, that's a thing that might happen. Um, I think it's I think it's allergies now. This is the. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Um, see my ping on Discord. Ooh. Which one? The DM? Or just like in the server? Oh, can you do the name 100 women challenge? Fucking... <laughs> Maybe not today, but that would be fun. Oh yeah, let's see. Cannot use chat, cannot be dead women. Damn. Can be streamers. Can be any version of their name. Um, spelling doesn't count as long as your heart is in the right place. No family, friends, or ex-girlfriend, or neighbors. Yeah, okay, that should be public women. No fictional carries. No repeats. Timer starts as soon as you type the first letter with the first name. Must be typed out in a list labeled on a 1 to 100. See the name of their, dis not their description. Okay. Okay. Huh. Yeah, maybe not today, but that that would be that would be a fun that would be a fun thing to do. No prepping. Damn. Okay. Um. Sweet. So, yeah, like I said, this is gonna be a shorter stream. I'm gonna. Sh it's it's a it's a name a hundred women challenge. Um, but, okay, so the, the chat, so the thing for today, we are, it's gonna be a short-er, um, short-er stream about capping it around two hours, because I have stuff to do later today, um, and yeah, that's about it, so let's, let's just get into it, like, straight up, we're, we're getting, we're getting straight into it. Yay. You can pause. Okay. We have... Dude, properties, make sure. Onwards, correct. Okay, let's do it. I already see father. 
Yeah, Chibi Chino. Yeah, yeah, she's so cute, and she she looks so stupid in Chibi form. Like in in game, right? She like she's so menacing and terrifying and that kind of stuff. But as a Chibi, <laughs> she is she sure sure is something as a Chibi. Okay, let's do it. 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 I'm, I'm so excited. So one more sip of tea. Let's do it. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Remurians believed their king Remus would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the High Sea. However, the God King's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and the winds blowing over sea and land. This is so insane. What the fuck? Splendorous symphony based upon Already this is insane. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal polities? If they What? What is that word? Polities? A former process of several gun. Okay, sure. Fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. This is a but thing that came. Today, har harmony with a perfect symphony was a thing that came up a bunch during um during the Archon quest. Remember, I kept I kept freaking out because it like it was very Shipe coded. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special Hello. program. Let's I'm take so a look excited. at the trailer. That that is insane. That that monologue that she just gave is already fucking wild. Okay, we're off to a strong start. Okay. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. Actually, they enjoy participating in activities like that. And the feeling is mutual. Hello. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up. And Hi, since Sino. it pertains okay. to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential oh, Cyrus. to inform you It was a great plan, shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm- What was that voice? That's how I gained my- Albedo? Hello, baby! No, that's child. Okay, never mind. Um, why did I think that was Albedo? It's been so long. I want Albedo back. Anyways, that is child. I fucking- I should know his, I should know his voice. He's all over my TikTok timeline. My power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members. There are so many voices. Holy shit. First of all... Sort of project. Yeah, I, w I was just about to look that up. Rika, I was just about to look up what Stuja means. Justice for Albedo? Yeah, true. Hard frost or severe cold in Russian. Project Stuja. The old man celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. That, that no, that's not. No, is that Sino? That's Sino. Got it. Our. The old man. That's child. Been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja. Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. But I did worry not until you anticipate we will meet again after presenting you. Let me okay, I need if to watch. I need to watch. I need to watch. Proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions. What the within fuck? The Hello. 
Oh, mother. What? Wings? What? She has a scythe, y'all. She has Trans a scythe. Everlasting <gasps> as the... Ha. Hmm. This is concerning to see after we had the whole Acheron bullshit happen. <laughs> okay. So is it Oh yeah, no. I'm I'm thinking the same thing Lightbringer. Don't worry. Yeah, she has a very similar or uh instrumentation to the Narwhal. So, first of all, wings Excuse me. Second of all, glitches. Excuse me. Third of all, black hole. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, why is she glit? That that is the wild part. Like necessary. I will know. Like what is up with you? Like what the fuck? No longer. Why? Carry out any special mission. And why are you shushing me? Shut up. She is so Sephiroth, yeah. Within five. Nave, fourth of the Fatui Harbingers, a poised, ruthless diplomat to the children in the House of Hearth, she is feared yet dependable father. Um. And a dire bail man. I, I remember looking up the definition of bail. Um, I have a screenshot of it, I think. Yeah, Bail. Um, evil considered as a destructive force. It's the archaic use of the word Bail, B-A-L-E. Um, so, okay, there's a lot of things going on with her title as Bail Moon. Right away, right, Moon, already suspicious. Second of all, she has the black hole motifing. Which is wild. Like, it, it, oh my god, there's so much going on. Um, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Okay. She, so, yeah, the weird glitching shit. But here's, here's the interesting thing. Like, yeah, Lightbringer, you pointed this out. This is a very, this is very similar instrumentation to... Um, the narwhal to, to that fight. What's so interesting about that fight is the fact that um, in that second phase, in that like second phase of the narwhal fight, the music um, the silhouette of catastrophe is all electronic and sampled from whale sound. This is similar in the fact that there is no orchestral or orchestration, which to me communicates as in the case of the narwhal, not from Tabat, which is fucking insane. But okay, let's continue. Transfixed, everlasting so at the moon. That's insane. Everlasting at the moon is what you said. Everlasting as as the moon. <laughs> okay, so she has a lot of moon theming. Okay. Maybe this is a bit of a crack ass theory. However, consider this. <laughs> what if What if Arlequino was one of the moon sisters that fell from the sky. Now, <laughs> what if? Because we've we've never right. We have never had. I, this is a crack ass theory. Yeah, don't don't worry. But. I'm thinking this one because all of the moon motifing and we've never had a character that is so just strongly moon, like so strongly tied to the moon before. Like this, like straight up, she is dire bale moon. 
I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, okay? Casting at the moon. I'm throwing that out there. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Who the fuck are you? Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. Who is Father trying to find? If Father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was is it chosen. Sino? He's looking but for- he was not he's the looking for Sino? Okay. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. Why do you sound familiar? I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have to... <gasps> Holy shit. Holy shit. His name is Sethos? He revealed his name on social media after the stream. Name is Sethos? Hold on. Give me a second. Genshin Impact. He sounds familiar. <laughs> That's why he sounds familiar. He's voiced by fucking Zeno Robinson. He's voiced by Toru. Okay, we're good. <laughs> and ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but... Okay. Okay, let's 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 review this because this is insane. Okay, so Sino is gonna go fight Sethos. Forward to this right of duels, the wisdom of Hermanu. There's somebody watching up there. I'm just now realizing. There's a lot of people watching. Okay, so this is a public thing. Somebody in the throne up here, though. This would have been ours. Okay. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. Okay. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture. Ah! Allow me to remind okay. you, Helen. Few among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tainted water. We all make sure it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. Holy so I do fuck. hope you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't in- Oh, she's so hot. Holy fuck. Ah, okay. I don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. What the fuck? Um, okay, right away, that's giving me primordial, uh, or not primordial, um, the, uh, the, 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 the statue that the fucking, um, omnipresent god, is that what, is it, what that reminds me of, but it also looks a lot, you know what the, this reminds me a lot of, this gives me, um, the, uh, the, 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 the spears from Evangelion. Like, y you know when, like, the, um, when they, like, shift forms? That's what this looks like. When, like, the Spear of Longinus, sh like, shifts its form into something else or whatever. That's what this looks like a lot. Um. And oh, yeah, no, this is very Evangelion coded. No sacrifice shall be in vain. Okay. So, right away, um, f like, okay, the, f the, fir <laughs> the first thing I want to see, right, we, we, get, we get Xena Robinson in, it, like, it's only a matter of time before we get the entire fucking cast of Horimiya in this goddamn game, because we got, um, we got Alejandro Saab, who voices uh, Miyamura, we've got um, uh, Anais, who um, voices Yoshikawa, we've got now Toru, um... We just get please i want i want marissa duran in this in this in this game anyways but okay 
Rear weapon was that? That was Lilith. The um the the yeah that was in Lilith yeah exactly that was pinning Lilith to the uh to the cross under in um oh in underneath nerve. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's rewatch this scene. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. So right away we've got I want you Arlequino jumping off of like these thread thingies. Like what are these? And, okay, so right away, what this is telling me is yes, Arlequino has a vision, but you to be I, I like Arlequino has something else about her. She isn't just a vision bearer, and I'm gonna go so far as to say this isn't even her delusion. I'm gonna go so far as to say this is just. Arlequino. To become the next king of the house. To you. You seem to have different like I'm I'm gonna go say this is like this is um like this is child's like um oh I always forget what it's called. Um yeah. That thing. I'm not saying I So, okay, so Arlequino very much wants King Lenny the to become house. the next king of the house. Foul legacy, that's what it's called. Is it the, 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 that's kind of like what the vibe I'm getting here. Is this isn't like delusion or vision shit. This is like just argh. Lenny does not want to become. Lenny does not want to become the next king of the house. Ideas. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. So they're straight up fighting her, which is insane. Your words. You're trying to frame us, Father. Please. Or it's painting an optimistic picture, indeed. Paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, Helen. You among us are willing. Their masters in misdirection. True. To sip from a glass. Holy True. shit! Oh, that is so Ava. Oh my god, that's so Ava. Literally, Jeez. big ass explosion with a fucking cross in it. <laughs> So Evangelion, dude. Where was that frame? I lost it. Yeah, I think it was this. Yeah, like that's that's so Evangelion code. I'll make sure. Drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I did. So that right there is insane. Th like, yeah, as somebody says Tazeranth. They, those are very like insected, like insectoid almost. I hope you decide to tag along. There and then dangers she ahead. just goes Die like another don't goddamn phase. Down. I don't want to disobey an order from father. These also that remind me a lot don't of, um, from the, like, the, those spires in the, like, in the chunk of the, um, the chunk of the map uh, of Sumeru that you unlock in, um, through the Aranara quest. Like, these things are sticking out of there. Back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No. Is that Linnet? Yeah, Mara Varuna, or yeah, whatever it is. That's what that looks like, but at a smaller scale. And then she just goes fucking nuts. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this shit? Are, is that a crack? This looks like a hairline fracture. Like, this, this isn't a lens flare. Like, this is a, that doesn't look like a lens flare. That looks like a fucking crack. 
in something. And no sacrifice shall be. This is fascinating. Shall be in vain. What the fuck is going on? Two worlds of flames of the crimson crimson night fades. Two worlds? In her final phase, like the Kino does crack live on screen. Oh, interesting. But yeah, like the threads, like yeah, the threads are are weird. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on with Arlequino? What are you? What the fuck? I expected you to be powerful. I did not expect... Like... I'm confused amounts of power. Because that, 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 that's what she is, right? Like, she's powerful, but it's like, it's... I am confused as to what you are powerful. Which, I thought I had enough of that for a lifetime with Acheron. Just how powerful- Just how fucking powerful is Columbina! <laughs> but yeah, Capitano, Dottore, and Piero? Dude. Ugh. If this is number four... Yeah, if this is number four, then who the fuck is the top? What is the top three imply? I'm like, okay, Capitano, if he is number one, that makes a lot of sense to me. He's a mysterious guy underneath a helmet. Like, he's scary, but he's not like that scary because he's a buff dude. The person that scares me the most is Columbina. I, I am so curious about Columbina. I am so curious about her. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everyone. Hello. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> hello, Yay. hello. Welcome, everyone. Yay. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited Run their May voice actors less. to oh, share yeah. some information oh, yeah. with us today. Hey everyone, my name is Erin Yvette. I'm the voice of Arlequino, the father of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui harbinger known as the Knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special Hell program. Yes. Yeah. Hi, what folks. if Columbina has Mills, the power similar Lenny, to Kafka? Also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes, I yes. don't know. Yeah. And although he's not a member of yeah, the why House is of Ito Hearth, here? <laughs> like, the I love Max Middleman. Here, the one and only <laughs> voice of Arataki Ito. What up? It's me, Max Middleman. <laughs> like, I, I love Max Middleman as much as the next guy, but like, what the fuck is he here? Like, <laughs> hey everybody, what's going on? My Are you excited to be here? Vibes, 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 <laughs> vibes for this. <laughs> I've heard they just need extra charisma. Vibes, vibes, vibes. Related to the House of the Station, the Jin's report. Okay. Yes, let's see. Let's see what's up with her. Based on the okay, so my theory that she is one of the Moon Sisters isn't far off. Solitary Bail Moon in a sky of fading stars. <laughs> mm. Most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children- A moon sister wouldn't be number four? Y you never know. <laughs> you never know, Rika. We have no fucking clue what Colombina Dottore and Piero or Capitano are. Y who knows? Also take on what did I miss? The trailer. <laughs> responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. I, uh, I'm. It's 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 an incredible. It's an incredibly crack theory, but I am not. I kind of enjoy it. The 
um I love the, I like I that's a it's a fascinating idea that she is one of the moon sisters. That would be neat. Um or is the moon? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you missed those you missed freaking out about Arla. I don't know. Okay. Is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the knave, <coughs> the fourth harbinger of okay. the Tui, is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. Too many! Too many, so babe! Too many! So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do Bring it! Bring the Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first, I, I, I have not hear seen that. straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the knave is? Terrifying is what... Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of data. <laughs> um i guess yeah the, the oh yeah these quest, these are like our Lakina was really eyes skilled at directing well the yeah she has a lot of eyes imagery in she has a lot of eye imagery it, it's just her imagery is so suspect it's it's weird conversation her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite but she was recognize her and talked about having nice point of view right that question <laughs> well <laughs> she's a very strict father okay. uh-oh <laughs> yeah strict um Our theories are basil elton or she's connected to whatever destroyed ramiria those are good theories actually i like that So she's old as fuck, which makes a lot of sense. The eyes remind me. That's what those remind me of, Lightbringer. It's the memory zone meme. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. It sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for no reason, though the kids feel a lot of pressure during her life. I expect to call him Bina to be angel coded, but not Arlequino. I wouldn't call that angel code. Like, I mean, fallen angel, yeah. Maybe that's what she is. Maybe, like, she's straight up just a fallen angel. Like. I have a theory, but it has a lot of nurses and crazy spoilers. Don't worry about it. You can. Yeah, a fallen moon. Exactly! Because she's not angel coded, but she is very. Fallen angel coded, like fire, brimstone, evil, red, Baal. Like, literally, that is what Baal means. In her title, Baal Moon of a, in a sky of fading stars, Baal Moon means a, an evil destructive force or physical torment or mes mental suffering. So she's not death, right? She's not death. She is torment and suffering. <clears throat> Destruction, torment, and suffering. Although her, her weapon is a scythe, yes, but... I, I, maybe. Yeah, she's very Sephiroth. But I, I definitely don't think that is... That, that means... Yeah, she she's a one-winged angel. She's literally a one-winged angel, which is very like yeah, she's she's twisted. She's very like she's just the seed of life kind of like evangelion. Right? Like she she's like the evangelion understanding of an angel, just like a very very twisted thing. Um but yeah, like solitary bale moon in a sky of fading stars. That is such a loaded title <laughs> in Genshin, in the context of Genshin lore. Attitude, it's so loaded. It's probably for their own good. Been patient, isn't it? Are they this <laughs> because she was traumatized? Secrets hidden for just a children. And you'll have will be released with answer in the game. That's Why does her children call her father? Because she's envy. Will be released with version she's gender. Now means cleansing fire yeah exactly okay that makes a lot of sense actually hmm so she's cleansing fire huh. 
I don't want to hope that travelers will be able to appreciate our version 4.6 will also introduce a Folks, I Let's saw I already saw about this. What she thinks about the other harbingers. <laughs> Intrigue. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Rongi. Welcome. Okay, this is what yeah, the focus mode, the I am doing this quest, don't fucking bother me button. Staring um, into okay. my eyes is ill advised. So what's with the glitching? You you don't belong here, do you? Like y you don't belong on Tay that, do you, ma'am? Like that right there looks to me like a color test screen. Right, the, the the please stand by the B the thing that the, like t the cliche TV thing. That's that's what that looks like to me. You don't belong on Tavat, do you? And yeah, again, that's why that's why her music is so broken. It looks like something is trying to reject her. Yeah, like you you know when it it, it, it almost reminds me of like. <clears throat> Something's trying to reject her, or you know when you like when you download mods for like Skyrim or whatever like game, and you didn't do the textures quite right, and so it's just like black. Like it's just like a, the 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 thing that you downloaded is just like a it's like a the model is entirely black and like shadowy. That's kind of what that looks like to me. It's like she's injected, like unceremoniously into. Or like improperly into Tay that. Staring into my eyes is ill advised. Huh. Okay. Staring into my eyes is ill advised. Which one? What's up with this other glitch? Yeah, cause like she She also just, like, changes orientation. Like, she just snaps to other places. Like, other direction. And she glitches the entire fucking screen. Not just around herself, and then, like, chromatically aberrates. Like, it's... I can't promise you'll like what you see. That's a hot idol. Like that. Transfixed! Okay, so she somehow. Okay, I just kind of. Transfixed. Transfixed. Oh, the one wing and angel shit is so sweet. And she has a fucking scythe. Oh my god. I did see that. I did see that it's her. Her quest title is a child that doesn't want to exist. That ultimate is insane. <laughs> That ultimate is like so weird. Quiet. Yes. Yes. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does is so effortless. I know, right? Yes. All right. Well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. The uh, you might have been a victim to it while you were fighting Elite Fatui Opera. Okay, I want to read this on my own. Um, <laughs> okay, so right away, her... Whatever this is, is a reference. Um, if y'all haven't read this short story, The Mask of Red Death by Edgar Allan Poe, read it. It's so good. Um, okay. That's an interesting reference to be making. Huh, okay. Um, when Arlecchino's elemental skill strikes opponents, it applies blood debt directives to them for a period of time. Um, when Arlecchino uses a charge attack or her elemental burst and it hits an opponent with blood debt directive, she will absorb, absorb and clear nearby blood debt directives. This will grant her a bond of life worth a percentage of her max HP. Arlecchino enters the Mask of Red Death state when her value of her bond of life is equal to or greater than a certain percentage of her HP 
where her normal charge and plunging attacks will be converted to deal pyro damage, which cannot be overridden. Okay. Why Teva doesn't want you here? That's my question. What if she's a hersher of corruption? Ugh, I have no idea. Nobody said that Tavet is not an Elysian realm with RTX on true. I mean, there there's the very good chance. There's the very good chance that it, it is a simulation. Or something along those lines or whatever. Yeah, you know. There there's the chance. But okay. So her reference her name is a reference to an Edgar Allan Poe story. Um very, I very, very recommend reading this story. It's a very good story. Operatives in Fontaine? Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? Uh, Hello, Perniel. Welcome. You, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, oh, hello. it will absorb oh, any I see that. healing that your character receives. So... They can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, student. Okay. <laughs> when Harley Keto has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't okay. be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 know, a it's a lot, it's a lot. So you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply... So it's, it's yes. very, it's whoa, very whoa, similar whoa. to a wait Hu a Tao. Right? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that, that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> yes, I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies. It also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know you were. Okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is. Don't removed, call her worse right? or better than anybody so until we actually get our hands on get our right? hands on her. Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack. Okay, and so her she has self-sustain. Uh, okay. Also, so it is kind of Hu Tao. One of her talents. While Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Oh, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah, is yeah. to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> 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 she's okay. kind of a yeah, savage. She does. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses her charge to tackle, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring her enemies. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's dope. That's fucking dope, dude. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. And her sight is so sweet. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? So what the fuck does she... Okay. All right. During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino, the knave, and Linny... So pyro-heavy. Holy shit. Rate boost. The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Moon semblance will also become... It's all moons, y'all. So many moons. She... Do you think she's related to the moon, y'all? <laughs> Because I don't. Available. Also, the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase. Baiju, all right. Okay, so let's discuss the new weekly boss. Oh. Yeah, yeah, let's see what's up with her fight. We were just talking about how the Knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders. But in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. <laughs> yeah, place your bet right now, y'all. She Was she canon Sonnet or Arya? 
<laughs> That's right. Are you ready to see a new name? Yes! Ready? I am ready! So ready! Oh, I love this music already. Gosh, it's so cool. I had stamina issues on here. It's out. Laughs and see one. <laughs> it's so insectoid. Okay, so she marks you. Oh yeah, that's her delusion. I just saw that. Yeah, she's very spidery. Yeah, that's her delusion. Okay, neat. Yeah, so pirate delusion too. She's very fiery. <laughs> she... <laughs> I would, I would say bonk, Ryo, but on, I don't blame you. <laughs> you could be, you could be horny. I, 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 I don't blame you. Yeah, this boss fight looks insane. Why do you, why does she have so much health? She's a fallen angel. I'm telling you. Cause she's a fallen angel. That's literally all she is. Wow. God, she looks Not dope. Even Linny and Fremenet have seen this side. Did she the take her own mats? So the knave is accepting challengers now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so elegant, but also super duper dangerous. <laughs> it does remind me of Grim of Nightmare King Grim, doesn't it? That is a huge. That is so NKG. I, I like if that that fight will not be like okay Nightmare King Grim is is probably my favorite boss fight in all of video gaming like partly because of theming but also the gameplay of that of that fight is fucking insane but like if this is even like a quarter of like Nightmare King Grim vibes I'm I'm sold I'm yeah, like I'm already sold on Arlecchino more badass with but like twice the badassitude. <laughs> hey. It's not so simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. Yeah, it seems like she'll dodge all of our attacks like a phantom if we're out of her immediate range. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative, even if their opponent is their own father. I'm too weak for the normal Grim. Here's a, here's a tip for that for that fight. So for for Troop Master Grim, it is a dance. You are dancing with him. He takes a shot at you. You take a shot at him. He takes a shot at you. You take a shot at him. It is and it, like you do not take control of the dance for longer than you have to. Like if if you if you respect Grim's tempo and Grim's like lead, you will win the fight. You like with most fights in Hollow Knight, you have to go on the aggressive, right? You have to take advantage of openings and all that stuff. With Nightmare King Grim, if you respect the tempo that he has set, you are good. That's why that's why the whole meme of you always bow to Grim before you fight him, like. And that's why it, when when he when he bows to you and you hit him and he yells at you. That's why is because he's he's not fighting you. He's dancing with you. You are putting on a performance with him. So if you keep that in mind and like that gameplay design in mind while you fight him, it's it's actually a much easier fight. And that goes for Nightmare King Grim too. It's just a faster tempo. So keep that in mind when you fight him. Show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be Cinder of Two Worlds Flames. Huh. <laughs> Okay, so it, it, here's what I'm thinking, right? She has a lot of two worlds, right? Another world. 
Two Worlds is Flames. Cinder of Two Worlds Flames. So she is the remnants of worlds that have been destroyed. Of two worlds that have been destroyed. Perinari? I have not read Perinari, so I should probably fucking read Perinari. <laughs> Good to know that there are two worlds, Perinari. She is very much from Perinari, if that's the case. Um, yeah, I have not read that yet, so I need to read that. Um, I'm telling you she's connected. Oh, of course she's connected to the Abyss. Somehow she's gotta be. She's connected to so many things. Like, and again, this is kind of, this is a very Arlequino situation, right? Where it's, I, ha I don't know what you are because you are so many things. You align with so many things. Too forgiving to them. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But if basically you tells how creatures from other worlds casually fell into Conria. Okay, yeah, no, that makes so much sense. To outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Hmm. Okay, so the this fight, I am like, this is such a Hu Tao. Farina fight. Oh my god. Dude, bring Hu Tao and Farina in heal mode and you win this fight. <laughs> you win this fight. Don't the bone wings on her back look like spiders? <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. I hate it. Oh my she's gosh. so like spidery. She has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. Mm -hmm. It's kind of creepy being the hunted one for once. <laughs> <sighs> So, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we should stop the introduction here. <laughs> Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly trounce domain bosses. Yeah! Okay, so they yoinked that. They just yoinked that from HSR, okay. They'll be able to challenge her directly by going to the Adventurer Handbook, going to the Domains tab, selecting Trounce Domains, and pressing Quick. Okay, new yeah, artifacts. What do you got? Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy, an unfinished reverie. Finished reverie. You're finished. Okay. In version 4.6. Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. It exists in 4.2? Oh, does it? Oh, okay. And For some reason, Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know about that? Yeah, okay, so Sino that Quest. Uh, okay, I, I don't. I, I forget about most of the things in this game at this point. It's pictures. Well, Sina wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has Sounds like there's some serious- Yeah, what the fuck is up with Sethos? Yes. They wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's connections to the mystery- You are very interesting looking. Huh, okay. ...mystery will make his debut yeah. during the case. I do. I do like that. That's Sino's neat. Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. Tainari, Kale, Alkabem, <laughs> and Kave will all come to support him when he's in <gasps> Kale. Look at it. So yeah, if you want to know more about what. Yeah, I'm. I'm not feeling much for him except for the fact that he's voiced by Zeno Robinson and he looks interesting. I like his hair. That's about it. Happens in this case. Then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest. Lupin working underneath. Delivered important information to share. Wait, 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 wait. really? Wait, yeah. too quickly. Can, can we, can we take a <laughs> yeah. already okay. told you the story of our Lakino and the House of the Heart? New so, area. What the undersea capital of the lost homeland? Okay, the wide waters that lie south of the great terrestrial lake were also once an integral part of the high sea. Beneath the, abyssal beneath the abyssal depth, touched by sunlight, untouched by sunlight, the first of dreams and hopes lie buried. The long forgotten symphony sounds once were admits. What is up with 
Who's voiced by Zena Robinson? Uh, Sethos, the the guy that uh that that uh um the guy that Sino is hunting is fighting. He's he's voiced by Zena Robinson. Um, it, it, that was announced on uh on their Twitter. Yeah, the new character, the new guy. That that was announced on their Twitter. Why don't we continue? The okay. Anyways, long forgotten symphony sounds once more amidst the stronghold of dimmed glories in the sea sunken ruins. A new chapter in a tale long ended is about to be written. Who is Zena Robinson? He's just a voice actor. He voices a uh, Toru in uh, Horimiya. Um. Okay. So, uh, bop, 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 bop. so uh, the, the lost homeland. So this is Remuria. Is what I'm is what I'm gathering. This is literally just Remuria. Underneath the abyss, there there's so much in this patch. What the fuck? The story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program. I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. <gasps> Yay, <gasps> Petricor. No. I love that word. There even be much to see on such a small island. Well, this is just an ins yet, yeah, this is an insane patch. This is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh yeah, oh, Rene de Petricor. Like, looks, uh, yeah, okay. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> anyway, this the most stacked patch uh, uh, the most stacked patch could be <laughs> without being. Yeah, no, literally. See the civilization that vanished. But that is that is insane. That like is next patch three point oh? Or it, no, it's, it can't be right. Like what? 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 Wait. So this is four point six. Yeah, four point six. So we got we got a couple more patches until three point oh. Like. Do you think we're gonna get Dane next next patch? Do you think we're gonna get? Do, you, do are we gonna get him in four point eight? Are we gonna like? We we've got to get a Dane patch, right? We have to before Natland comes out, right? We have to. There's no way we're not. Thousands of years ago. Oh my god, that's amazing! Anything for a talking cat. <laughs> <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, where are the Marathons in Natland or in Mondstadt? With... Here's the thing: I don't think that's canon anymore. The wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. Yeah, that I, makes a lot I of sense, actually, fam. So not getting it. Is next okay. patch we get Dane <laughs> quest set in Remuria? So you'll just yeah. have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. I'll yeah, the symphony. The, the symphony so thing is interesting. I love the cat. Oh my goodness. I love you. Whoa, that is you. a you'll thing. <laughs> <laughs> you'll meet a dragon Sh straight up you'll meet a dragon okay in the deep <laughs> so you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony which will help you explore the lost realm of remuria you'll be able to pause the melody with the realm so of this ancient civilization you can also unseal time some and places where it stops I, I i i honestly don't know that's the weird thing is like it's very possible that we just straight up don't get a dane slip cuz I, I don't know it, it makes sense i i don't like it i don't like the concept but yeah the powers will let you interact with specific objects in the ruins you know that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess of the faded castle. Can you new new boss? Right, the statue of marble. And we should have gotten Freno's uh, Freno's story quest two, the weekly boss in two point six, but that doesn't happen. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It, um, I want to say we're gonna get at least one more interlude chapter. Before the end of why the hell why isn't Farina rerunning? Fucking yeah. <laughs> Honestly though, I'm kind of glad that she isn't because I, I my lack of impulse control would mean I'd probably be pulling for her more, but you know, it's whatever. Um Baiju rerun instead of Farina rerun is very sus. I mean, I don't know. I just 
I'm kind of glad that she's not being re rerun because I would pull for her and Arlequino. Brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to be Damon. You did. How do we even get? Already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom. We'll automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Oh, Hopefully, this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature. Will all right, that's all the information. Jin, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular. Okay, that's Great. why you're here. <laughs> Shinyan, maybe, possibly. Just, uh, just a brief <laughs> overview of name of this concert. Goro, Nightwind Horn, new instrument. Okay. Oh, Wind Trace is coming back. Okay. Sorry, in search. Uh, Ventures Guild. Weber Crystal, Overflow, System Optimizations. Mm, I read all of that. Optimize the Realm Music Interface. Yes! New. Eternus will debut during version 4. There's, a, there's an event with a Natlan NPC? Holy shit, where... Is it this dude? Sarian, lizard. This guy? No way. Okay. <sighs> Regis finds in that lens Sarians. Yeah, okay. Remember, remember when, uh. His name is Ranjit, though. I, I can't tell if that's a Sumeru name or if that's a. Now that you mentioned, I haven't met a single person from Natalan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, the game is actually going to acknowledge it. I, ah, okay. The game is actually going to fucking acknowledge why we haven't met anybody from Natalan. It's so weird. Renji just... Okay. Imagine you were right in your, with your theory. I will be so happy about that, actually. It's more isolated than Inazuma. Exactly! Yeah, it's very Sumeru-coded. It, it doesn't have a very, like... Yeah, it's a very Sumeru name. But still, he was there. And we get to ask him questions about it. Hello, Blue Cat. Welcome. Yeah, we get to ask him questions about Natlan. Uh, like, why the fuck... Is it not open? Or like, why is nobody here? Why do pe why do people not exist in that land? Okay. So now that we have all this context, now that we have all this context, let's go back and rewatch the beginning. I'm thinking we'll get mounts in that land. That would be cool. I just want Chloron. Yeah. Is that it's the land of dragons? But yeah, like like uh like Phantom was saying, Sorian Sorian is like got, it comes from Greek. It just means a lizard. So like, they're dragon people. It has been millennia since the fall of Remuria, and its history has long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before the birth of the court of Fontaine. There was an empire known as Remuria. Okay. Remurians believed their king, Remus, Remus, would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. Okay. However, the god... The term god king... is weird. The god king's seers prophesied discord. They, they spelled prophesized wrong in the... <laughs> they spelled prophesized wrong in the subtitles. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, Desh. It, it's very Desh. And the fact that we got, got yeah, God King Desh, God King Remus, and then the fact that we're going back to Sumeru Desert with Sino and now Sethos, it, the, we're we're tying everything back to Desh, which is okay, neat. God King's seers prophesized discord. The greatest empire. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. This is Fortuna. Prophesied is King's seers prophesied dis But Aaron is saying prophesized and not prophesied. So um The Greatest Empire will face the most utter destruction, and this is Fortuna. Either she misread or they misspelled. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the god. This line right here is also insane. Because, okay, so this is so loaded. <laughs> There's so much going on in this. Like, it, it's funny because in the three and a half ish years that I've been playing this game, all of these mean things to me, but if you're like somebody who doesn't know shit about Genshin lore, this is just words. Like, if, this, this means nothing to somebody who doesn't know Genshin lore, but to like to people like us, this is so much shit going on. Okay, so because this right here tells me Conria, though, right? The greatest empire. Empire here is Eclipse Dynasty to me. And then face the most utter destruction, and this is Fortuna. Um, let me double check something. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but then, yeah, so Greatest Empire will face the most utter destruction. True, it is Mille she did She did say millennia before that happened. Millennia before, and Conria was only 500 years ago, so, or, no. Yes, no. I feel like my Genshin lore is so rusty, but... Right, so this is, this happened before Conria, which is neat. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial derive the primordial plan from the cycle of seven days. So derive. So he took the cycle of seven days, and then from that he he got he derivated the primordial plan. Primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing. Primary is two cycles before the crown aria. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Over and winds blowing and over land. sea and land. And composed a sp splendorous symphony based on it. And winds blowing over sea and land. Okay, right? You have the wind mention. Symphony based on it. He believed that polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with this perfect symphony. It's still, it's so sheep A coded. But today, welcome to. Hmm. Okay. Let's watch the thing and then I have to get, I have on to get occasion, going. We hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. So she is... she likes hunting people. She is, she's very much a predator. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event yeah. rolls around. Something has come up. 
And since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan. Why are we being informed about Cyrus and Sino from Chai? Or, oh, from that, El that's from Alhatham. Out it in secrecy. We all gathered around. Why does he and give a shit? The revival of our Lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent some. Who's the old man? The old man's been putting pressure on me. Who's putting pressure on child? Pulcinella? Well, Chad is overly horny today. I, I don't blame him. Piero or Polcinetta? Because Capitano isn't here. Maybe it's the Tor. Okay, okay. So why would it be Polcinella? Because Polcinella hasn't been involved in anything so far especially not anything sumeru related yeah so why would he be involved i think if to me it's more realistic to say it's dotore because it, it's funny because child is just a regular ass dude so like everybody every single man in the, in the Harbingers could be old man to child. Like, every single fucking person in the Harbingers to child would be old man. So, it could be Capitano, it could be Totore, but it to me is more reasonable as it's, it's Totore. Someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. But I did not answer. Pulcinella is, the, is who got child in, in the Harbinger in the first place? Uh, maybe. Anticipate we will meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, must... What's your proposal? Yeah, yeah. Unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer... Okay, so she, she's giving Nouvellet uh, an ultimatum. I wonder what her, what her side of the ultimatum is. Of if you... I will no longer carry out missions within Fontaine if you accept my proposal. I want to know what you are proposing. Or carry out any special missions within Fontaine. What is she presenting to Nouvellet? God, your ass is insane. Transfixed. Everlasting as the moon. An order once given cannot be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. My bet is on giving up his authority, stopping it down as Udex. I don't I really know. Didn't need to drag anyone else into this. If father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be chosen. But yeah, she wouldn't the benefit only. from that. Who'd like me to is a thing. My power. I'm really looking forward to this right of. I want you to become the next king of the house. Doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, Helen. Make sure things children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. Could be House of Heart for a House of Heart the Relay. I do like that. Ahead, and I for one don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded. And no sacrifice shall be in vain. Hmm. Okay. That's fucking wild.
I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's insane. Um <laughs> Okay. So I have to get going. Um I have an appointment at 3.30. So in yeah, in 45 minutes. So I need to get going. Um thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh proper stream. Uh pro like proper, yeah, proper genuine stream Sunday. Um and yeah, so thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys later, y'all. So, bye-bye.